What's going on guys? This is Al B back with another video. Today I'm going to show you guys really quickly how to fix your pitch bend and or your modulation wheel in FL Studio. If you have a MIDI controller and when you move your pitch bend or your modulation wheel, it doesn't move the pitch bend and modulation in FL Studio, I'm going to show you how to fix that. The first way I'm going to show you is going to fix most of you guys' issues, and then I'm going to show you the second and third way to fix it if though if the first way doesn't work for you, okay? Um, but between these three ways that I'm going to show you, you should definitely be able to get your modulation and your pitch bend wheels working for all of your VSTs universally in FL FL Studio. All right, guys. So just stick with me here for a few minutes and we're going to step through it and it, it'll be sure to get you working for all VSTs permanently uh, mapped with pitch bend and modulation. All right, guys. So let's get into it. Now guys, if you're using an Akai MPK Mini MK3 controller, it is a little different in that it doesn't have a separate pitch bend and modulation wheel. It just has a joystick, which really is the same. It's just both wheels are in one joystick. And when you move the joystick from left to right, it does pitch bend. And when you move the joystick up and down, it does modulation. At least that's how it comes out of the box and by default. And so what I'm gonna show you here will work for that controller too. But when I'm talking about moving the pitch wheel, if you're using that, that joystick, you just got to move it left and right. Where I say move the modulation wheel, you got to move it up and down. So just wanted to clarify that. I know that's a pretty popular controller, um, but what I'm about to show you should work for pretty much any controller. Um, just wanted to give you guys a heads up if you have that one. And if you do have the Akai MPK Mini MK3, I have a template that gives you a full workflow for that controller. And I also have it for other popular controllers like your Launch Keys MK2 and MK3 series, as well as for your Arturia Mini Lab series. I have templates for all of those controllers that will give you the best workflow out of FL Studio to use your drum pads like a traditional MPC and have your MIDI data still separate without using the FPC method. If you're interested in how to set that up with those controllers, then I'm gonna put um, some links in the description. So check that out if you're interested. But for today, we're gonna to just be focusing on how to fix the pitch bend and modulation wheel for any controller, all right? All right, guys, so um, pretty much um, all MIDI controllers or, or most of them come with two wheels on the left hand side that pretty much look like what you see here in, in the software. The left side, the leftmost wheel is a pitch bend wheel, which bends the pitch up or down. And then the next the next wheel is a modulation wheel, which modulates, you know, the sound depending on what VST you're in. And sometimes that mapping between your physical controller that sits on your desk um, your physical controller mappings get lost in FL Studio, so FL Studio doesn't tie the pitch bend and the modulation properly. I'm gonna show you how to fix that. The first and easiest way to fix this is to um, basically just go to current project in the browser, go down to remote control, and if your pitch isn't working, then you just hit pitch. If your pitch bend wheel's not working, hit pitch. You should see auto, you should see auto detect is enabled, omni is enabled, remove conflicts is enabled, don't click anything um, unless you just need to turn these on. So, but don't do not click accept. So, just make sure your auto detect is on, make sure Omni is on, make sure remove conflicts is on, and then on your physical controller, you're going to actually move your pitch bend. Okay, and then when you look in the top left here in the hint bar, you should see an orange check mark when you move your pitch bend. Okay, and then if I go to pigments here, this VST, boom. When I move my pitch bend wheel. On my physical controller, it's moving it in the DAW and it's moving it in the VST that I that I have opened. If I go to Analog Lab or another VST, when I move my pitch bend, boom, it's tied there as well. One more thing about the pitch bend wheel. If your pitch bend isn't moving as far as you want to in the VST, that's as far as mine goes all the way up. That's as far as it goes. If you want it to go further, you just got to go to your um, just kind of click this icon here in the top of the window, the set the detailed settings icon, then hit the wrapper settings button in the middle and where it says send pitch bend range. You can start with maybe two semitones and adjust it as you need. But now that I've made this two, it was 12. 
I kind of scroll down to two, come back, and when I move my pitch bend wheel, it moves much further. Okay? And so now, you know, it has more of a range that my wheel can can bend the pitch, okay? So that's how you fix the pitch bend and how you make it bend further if you if it's not bending as far as you want it to in a VST. Okay. So now let's say my modulation wheel is not working. And you'll know it's not working because if I move my mod wheel that's that's not working and you look in the top left, you'll see a green uh you'll see a green question mark, which means FL Studio is receiving the signal from your controller, but it doesn't know what to do with it. OK, what you want to see is an orange check mark, which means that he does know what to do with it. OK, so let's say you move your mod wheel, you get a green question mark or your modulation just isn't working. Even if you are getting an orange check mark, the way to fix it is to go to current project, go to remote control, just do a simple click on mod wheel. Make sure it says Omni mod wheel wrapper. Left click it and you'll get this pop up. Just make sure auto detect is enabled. Make sure Omni is enabled. Make sure remove conflicts is enabled. And then you come to your physical controller and you move your modulation wheel. And as you can see, now my modulation wheel is being is controlling my mod wheel here in analog lab. If I go to another VST, if I go to pigments, then it's controlling my mod wheel and pigments. So now whenever I go to a VST, as long as I open the VST up, my mod wheel will, will modulate the signal and my pitch bend will bend it. That's going to be the most common fix, guys. It's going to fix pretty much most of your issues. Now, if you find that when you open up a new project in FL Studio, the mappings aren't there anymore, I'm going to show you how to fix that next. All right, guys. So if you find that when you open up a new project or start a new project that your pitch band and modulation are no longer tied like we just went through, then this is how you're going to fix that. You're going to want to open up a blank project. OK, and then you're going to come and do the same thing we just went through. You're going to go to current project, remote control, click on pitch, move your pitch wheel. You're going to come to my wheel, move your mod wheel. Boom. They're mapped. Now you're going to want to save the mapping by saving it as a template. So to do that, you do a file, save as, and when you come to FL Studio Projects, you're going to go to Templates, and you're going to save this as, let's say, My New Default Template. Save it. And what that did was that saved it in the template section of Projects. So FL Studio is going to use this as a template to start up your new projects. So before we can do that, right, we have to first restart FL Studio so that it can see the new template that we just created in that folder. So let's close out FL Studio. Open it back up. So now that we restarted, now that we restarted FL Studio, we need to go make that new template our default. So go to options, general settings. And where it says default template in the bottom right, we're going to click on the drop down. And we're going to say my new default template is what I want to be uh, my template. So when I close this out, now if I go to open up a new project, I say, hey, file new, but automatically it's going to try to open it up with the my new default template. And that my new default template has your pitch bend and modulation mapping saved to it. And so therefore, any new projects you create from that default template will have the mapping there for you. So that's going to be the way to fix it. If you find that your modulation and pitch bend are lost when you open up new projects, that's how you fix it. You pretty much have to make a, a brand new project, redo the mapping and then save that as your startup template project and just start your new projects from that template and you'll have your mappings moving forward. And so the last thing to fix um, your modulation wheel, in this case, there is no third. The third fix only applies to the modulation wheel. There are some VSTs that don't actually have um, kind of the modulation wheel tied inside of it and the way that you would fix that. So if you've done the first two methods that we just went through and you're still having some VSTs that don't recognize the modulation wheel, the way to fix that is going to be to come to plug in database in the browser Go to installed, then go to generators, fruity, 
and come to Fruity Wrapper. And we're going to right click and open in a new channel. OK, and then you're going to close that window and then come back up to now what will show under current project. Generators. Fruity Wrapper. And now you can see all of the generic MIDI functions or MIDI options, MIDI controls that we have. And you're going to look for MIDI CC number one. So you're going to right click it, link to controller and move your modulation wheel. Voila. And now when you come to any VST, your mod should be tied to it. If you had a VST that just wasn't picking up the modulation, it'll work now. So that's the third way you fix the modulation wheel, guys. If you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe for good vibes. And, you know, I can keep bringing out this dope content. If you found it helpful, drop a comment. Let me see you can drop a yes, sir, in the comments. And until next time, guys, this is Al B. We are out.